Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. The power of the Sultan in this journey of ours every year, an eternal journey. As soon as we reach the ninth month of Allah, it's the month of the Sultanat in which Allah going to annihilate everything. Everything that is other than what pleases Allah with the power of the nine and entering into the holy month of Ramadan, Allah destroys everything that the nafs has put upon insan and whatever shaitan's plots and plans have put upon insan, make it to reach its binary reality that those whom are intending to fast, those whom intend to support those who fast or those whom trying to fast even occasionally if your health is not good or for a few hours if you're young. Whatever it is everything is based on intention that we're coming with the love of Allah love of Sayyidina Muhammad and asking, Ya Rabbi that we are weak, we are weak servants and we're coming to this gate, this Bab al-Maghfirah and Rahmah. The first 10 days of Ramadan is the gates of Rahmah and mercy that when Allah described they are oppressors to themselves. Bajauka that they run to you, Ya Sayyidi, Ya Sayyidi, Ya Rasulul Kareem, Ya Habibul Azim, that we are definitely oppressors to ourselves and we're asking that Allah open this bab of rahmah and mercy for us. That, ya Rabbi, shower your rahmah upon us and all those whom we love of our family, our community, and the people of our faith. Take away sickness and difficulties, Ya Rabbi. Grant us your rahmah and your mercy and your dress upon our soul and grant us to reach towards your Bab al-Maghfirah that you begin to whoosh and forgive all the wrongs that the nafs and shaitan have inspired to put upon insan and that we reach to the magnificent gate of Itqam in nar that Allah free us from the, the, the binding of fire that attaches itself to insan. We pray to see these nights and days, to fast its days and to pray its nights. That Allah give us all strength and courage and ability that what seems fearful in our lives with Allah's infinite rahmah becomes so merciful. Any other day of the week or year that we try to fast is very difficult and this Baba rahmah the immense rahmah that is now opening upon the earth make the fasting to be alhamdulillah easy for the believer. That makes Allah send from sources that we can't understand that they just come into the mouth of insan and they nourish and you're being nourished but we don't understand how. The thirst is, is being taken out, the hunger been taken out. And this is Allah's sign of this gate of rahmah. The first gate had to be rahmah otherwise nobody could enter into it. It's Allah's mercy that enables us to even fast, to support fasters, people who are fasting, to give an iftar for people who are fasting, to be somehow involved in the immense blessings of Ramadan. Immense reality is emanating is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad so this is the month of Sayyidina Muhammad and al Baba rahmah we say, why Allah giving the first 10 days a gate of mercy? If it was not for the mercy there was no way to reach that reality. It's Allah's rahmah that must open up immense blessings, chain the shayateen and the bad nafs that doesn't allow the servant to fast, doesn't allow the servant to enter into a worshipness that would please Allah So the first gate has to be a rahmah in which to draw the servants. And then what Allah describes is, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاهَ رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ is that, I would not have sent you to this abode of dirtiness, this dunya in which your majesty is beyond the comprehension of this dunya. I would not have sent you except that you are 
the mercy, you are the secret of my mercy, you are the gate of my mercy, they're in need of your intercession. Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habibul Azim. So they understood this Baba Rahmah, this gate of Rahmah is to enter into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And the best and most powerful, most powerful way to receive the lights of Holy Ramadan is increase, increase the amount of salawats in this month that make excessive amounts of salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad because what you think you're going to read and what you think you're going to comprehend from your aqal and from your nafs is nothing, nothing in comparison that when you're making durood al-sharif and praising and praying upon Allah's most beloved in creation, your soul is entering into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad that presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is the dress of Rahmah, is the dress of Maghfirah, is the dress of Ithqumil An-Nar because as like a, like a, the khirka is that the souls when they make salawat as if they're entering back onto the shade and the abode of Sayyidina Muhammad So means this is a month in which to enter that Rahmah is make durood al-sharif, anyone under difficulty increase the amount of salawats, anyone under affliction and sickness increase the amount of salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad As much as we're in difficulty, as much as we're in deficiency of our salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad Asmahu dawas wa zikruhu shifas because it is the, the most secret zikr of Allah in two sense, one it is actually the secret of Allah's zikr because Allah doesn't say Allah, Allah's zikr is to praise upon Sayyidina Muhammad inna Allahi wa malaikatahu yusalloon ala Nabi So the secret of what Allah's making a zikr is salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad And when Allah wants us to make zikr, He describes for us, say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad. It means that Allah teaching us that even your durood is, is a zikr of Allah first and praising upon Sayyidina Muhammad second. So this is the gate of rahmah, is immense salawats. And as we are making the salawats, the reality of Ramadan is opening, the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad is opening and Prophet begins to dress the soul. Prophet begins to make salawat and salawat upon our soul which is the reality of Holy Qur'an. So if you want to be dressed by Qur'an, not only just reading Qur'an but if we want to be dressed by Holy Qur'an the Rood al-Sharif on Sayyidina Muhammad because Prophet said, if you remember me once, I remember you ten times. What Prophet is going to remember us with? With the lights of Holy Qur'an, Alam al-Qur'an. What was taught from Allah to Sayyidina Muhammad what then is taught by Sayyidina Muhammad to our souls? This is the reality that Allah want to give us, that you're not going to achieve this state you don't achieve it by your salah, you don't achieve it by giving five dollars and shaking, you don't achieve it by, by making hajj and staying in ten thousand dollar hotel rooms. You make it by salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad because you make it by an act of love. If you see somebody who's sick and in difficulty, they have to increase their salawats. Say, well but they're Muslim but maybe then they don't have the love that they should be having for Sayyidina Muhammad That madhab that comes and questions everything and comes against and starts to make judgment against the love of Sayyidina Muhammad they should be in tremendous difficulty. When their doctor and their medicine and their najat is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad if they don't have it then they should find themselves in difficulty and turmoil. But this Baba Rahmah for Ramadan we pray that Allah dress us and bless us to enter into that reality. 
Grand Shaykh Shaykh Abdul Faizid Daghestani said, from the secret between two and seven, that by the secret of uh, two and seven which every gate on this dunya is twenty-seven. Every night of the twenty-seventh is a secret into the heavenly realm of seventy-two of paradises, it's a reflection. Why the two and the seven? Because in this reality of numbers one is Allah two is Wahid. One is for Allah two is for that reality that Allah created, there is nothing like that reality which is Muhammadun Rasulullah La illallah is one and Muhammadun Rasulullah is one. There's nothing like Allah the Creator and there's nothing like Muhammadun Rasulullah So it means that the Muhammadun Rasulullah is the reflection of one that becomes the first secret of this two and seven. And why the gate and the reality of seven is that Allah says, everything of this dunya is going to perish. Everything, every paradise will perish, every angel will perish, every Bayt al Mahmur will perish, everything of dunya will perish except the holy face. Except the holy face. And this holy face contains the seven ends essences one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These seven essences of Allah they dress the holy face of Wajik al Kareem, the holy and the merciful face and generous face of Sayyidina Muhammad in the world of light. That seven and all the secrets related to that seven is everything about why seven on this earth, why seven tawaf we said because you have seven paradises. These paradises are related to the holy face and the opening of this holy face. And that only Allah understood that reality and they say, Ya Rabbi don't put us in anything that's going to be perishing. That's why they don't ask for the reward of dunya. Don't give me Sultanate of, of dunya when I know I'm going to die and it's going to go and my kids are going to waste it all away. Don't give me even your paradises when I know that when judgment comes and Allah says, judgment day has come, all the paradises will collapse, all the angels will die, everything that had hayat will die. And that's why Allah says that from your death we created life. And from your life we will bring death. They say, we don't want that which is perishing. What we want Ya Rabbi is to be in the holy face. Means then this reality of, of being dressed by holy Qur'an, being dressed by the mirror of Allah La ilaha illallah with dressing upon Muhammadun Rasulullah Ya Rabbi take us into that ashaqeen and to be from that reality and great. Grant us from the seven, grant us to be in the presence of the holy face Wajik al Kareem, that the holy face to be dressing us and blessing us from seven essences that dressing that face to dress upon us. That's why the face of awliyaullah they are inheriting the face of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why Sayyidina Muhammad told his holy companions, if you have seen me you have seen Allah What does that mean? That when you're making tafakkur and, and the holy companions all day long are, are in a tafakkur and contemplation with Sayyidina Muhammad what light coming to them is the reflection of La illallah because they are lost in the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah And that's what Allah want. That be with these ashiqeen, be with these lovers, they teach you the reality of how to reach towards Holy Qur'an. Who can read Qur'an and understand Qur'an? And why you want to understand it from your head? When your head don't even understand the purpose of your nose that's right in front of you. Tell me what your nose is for. Take the air because it's free. It's a secret. They don't know what the secret of here is. How are you going to know the secret of Holy Qur'an in the heavens? 
So because we can do that, love Sayyidina Muhammad make durood the sharif Let the master of all realities dress our soul from the lights of Qur'an. So become not only Qur'an but Ummul Kitab, one taught to you from Shadeed al Guwa, one taught to you from immense powers and immense realities that we, we weaken ourselves when we're entering the Arabi, I'm weak servant, I'm jahal servant, I'm ignorant unlearned servant, I don't know Arabic. These are not from my memorizing of Arabic books, we are ummi, we're not somebody who read a book. As soon as you claim to be weak, Allah will be your teacher, Sayyidina Muhammad will be the teacher. We pray that Allah open in this holy Ramadan, Ya Rabbi you have surrounded us by shayateen and they're killing off people like Kuhi Mina, like the mountains of Mina they are cutting the necks of people these devils. 50,000 died, 20,000 died, don't let us to perish in this ignorance and in this state of jahiliya Ya Rabbi. Grant us this bab and this rahmah, grant us to enter into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and complete your ni'mat upon us Ya Rabbi. When yasurukullahu nasran aziza Ya Rabbi by the reality and the haqq of Sayyidina Muhammad and what Qur'an you brought through the heart of this haqq of Allah Ya Rabbi by its truth Dress us from that reality that your promise was, Ya Ansurukullahu Nasra Naziza, Ya Rabbi, this year complete your favours upon our soul and dress us to be walking Holy Qur'an, walking love of Sayyidina Muhammad and to complete that light and that majestic light upon our souls, Ya Rabbi, so that the devils look and to have the fear of that light and that their falsehood can never enter into the truth and into the precincts and to the realm of that truth. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, Join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.